Hi everybody, Tim MX here and today I want to show you what to consider when you work in ACES after the intro. You know that ACES is great when it comes to color visions and image adjustment and it's easy to use if you are familiar with the specifics and one of this really important thing you should observe if you use ACES is topic of this little quick tip video here today. So let's start. You know how the primaries work? In general, I assume you know that the lift lifts your shadow, the gamma, your gamma curve and that the gain adjusts the highlights and that this tool differs and though the result is not the same, right? But if you work in ACES, it seems that the primaries work different than in Rec. 709, for example. I set up this project in ACES and you know, I like to explain the things with simple gradients so that you can see how the tool works. And if I now use a lift, for example, in this ACES project, you can see that the curve on the scopes looks different than usual, right? Hmm, let's see how the gamma works in ACES. Looks the same, like the lift, right? Okay, and the gain? Oops, the same, like gamma and lift? You see that the primaries are not working correctly if you work in ACES. And here is a solution. All you have to do is to create three serial nodes and apply the ACES transform open effects from the FX library on the first node here on the, our three nodes and on the last of the three nodes too. And on the first node, I change the input transform to ACES CCT, the same as I choose in my project settings here. So you can see I'm working in ACES CCT and now I switch to the output transform on this node to Rec. 709. Then on the third node, I switch the input node to Rec. 709 on, on the output to ACES CCT. Now I have transformed my node tree from ACES CCT to Rec. 709 and back. And now you can use the second node here as usual for your primaries because now my lift, gamma and gain works as expected. You can see this if I demonstrate this quickly for you. Okay. And by the way, you don't lose any information on your footage because ACES keeps all informations under the hood and transform only the color space to Rec. 709 as a, let's say a kind of layer on top of your footage so that your adjustment on this Rec. 709 node are managed by ACES via the color space to your image. And if you transform your workspace back, you still have all the informations of ACES. That's very important to understand. And by the way, if you don't want to transform your footage in ACES, you can choose the lock wheels instead. And so you have shadows, midtones and highlights as an alternate way to work in ACES. As you can see here, for example, on this image, the log wheels works as expected. And in the same way as usual, you only have to transform your node tree if you want to use the primaries. I hope it helps for your color grading in ACES. And that's it. We are done. So finally, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.